Welcome to Wednesday Thrifting. It is lunchtime. This is our first stop. Let's check out inside. The shelves are back, but I don't see any updates, unfortunately. So run through here kind of quick. The wide view of uh, the bag aisle is not looking promising. Bunch of glass, guys. Bunch of glass. All right, we got daily pops today. We got Boosh. We got 2016 Han Solo too. Yeah, we'll take a look at all these. Bunch of Star Wars stuff. Did a scam. Looks like about half of them are good. Um, these are like 20 to 30. This one might be a little bit more. Um, I should do one more check on him. I might pick up Boosh just for myself. But I just saw this Knights thing on the uh, on the thing. Let's just do a live scan. See if this comes up with anything. No. I might have to do a look up. This is actually pretty good too. It's the uh, Myth and, Myths and Legends Historical Knights Collection. We got some stuff priced kind of high. One's priced low though. Let's see what our solds look like. 30, 25, 30, 30, 25, 25, 20. So we'll see if we can figure out which one this is. They want five for it. Probably worth picking up. Some it's lower though too. So we'll see if we can pare down the exact one. Uh, I think we're going to go and take a risk for five bucks. Okay, we left Boosh behind. I decided I didn't need to buy it. I only bought the things that I could make money on. So three Funko Pops and we got that uh, Mythical Knight guy. Okay, we're at store number one, Wednesday lunchtime. A little lucky at uh, store two, little score. So hopefully keep it going. Let's double down. Same uh, media so far as yesterday. Check out the games real quick. Clear the seal. Yeah, just a puzzle. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything new out here yet. I'll check out the toys. Alright, well, nothing new in toys either. And I don't see anyone rolling, which worries me a little bit. But we'll keep it going. First time seeing an actual branded GameCube controller in a long time, and there's no cord. <laughs> so. I'm not going to pay eight for that. Well, I gave that uh, GameCube controller to one of the employees and let them know that it's unusable. So hopefully they'll take it off the shelf. Going to head back to work. Got nothing. Glad I saved one of my factor meals too because my delivery hasn't shown up yet. It's come before lunch last, first, last couple Wednesdays. So Okay, I made it out of work on a Wednesday evening. We're doing our first stop at uh, store number one. I'm switching it up. Plus, they can uh, take care of some other business down at store number two uh, once they get out of there. So, anyway, let's go to it. First pass, we've got a few things to look up. Got a pop. Got this guy. He's in a game that I've sold before. Uh, we got an uh, Ertl tractor and then a PS2 game I've never seen before. Metropolis Mania. Natsume game, so that could be something. So, we're going to keep at it. Look all this up here in a minute. Okay, I see something good already. Little orange ant. It's got to be worth six, seven bucks, right? A little pocket amp. My uh, friend used an orange bass amp in our band. Cool. We'll look this guy up. Major score here, guys. Looks like brand new. These things sell for a couple hundred bucks if I'm looking at it correctly. So, that is the score good one seven bucks boy I didn't uh, film pulling this off the shelf but we got a uh, I grabbed it just because it's a unit in it's a unit in R7 it is a extreme long-range radar laser det laser detector <clears throat> looks like that's like 400 bucks guys so six and two yeah people are selling from three to five hundred dollars so oh my god today's a good day uh, the pop was no good, and this game was not worth it. So I'll still check out the Merlin wizard guy. It's the Ask Xandar game. The one I had before worked. I know a lot of these don't work. In fact, uh, store number two had one like a couple weeks ago that shows that they tested it and it didn't work. So it looks like by itself you can get about 20 bucks for it. So we'll probably leave it. They want five. Um, yeah, I'd rather not deal with it, especially if we get it home and it doesn't work, then it's a big waste. 
listings for the uh, Ertl McCormick tractor. Looks like it's a $30 or so. So, probably leave it. Well, yeah. They want 10 for it, so we'll leave it behind, too. We got a couple big ones, so we can leave some of this little stuff. This uh, bag of trains, not even realizing it was Thomas the Train stuff. I guess they're Thomas the Train minis, mini miniature figures. A few lots up. There's probably what 20 so or so there. They want too much. They want 850. So looks like the best you could probably get for that would be like 20 bucks. So we'll leave it too. What's this? Speed plate 300 easy. Oh, it's a flash. So I'm double checking the electronic style, of course, because if that was there, other stuff could be here too. You know, you know it hasn't been picked through, so just gonna make sure I'm not leaving anything cool. I wasn't expecting that with a uh, laser detector either, so just double checking. I just found a fig tin too. Scooby Doo one. We'll scan that. I actually know what they are now. Well, it says it as well. I've heard the fig pen wasn't worth it, so we're going to leave him. We'll just pick up uh, our two huge scores for the day. Absolutely amazing scores tonight. I haven't had a night like this in a little bit, so I love this. Uh, we got the orange microdark amp, which I'm surprised they didn't price up. This just feels like quality. It's got a tube in it and everything. Not that they checked that, but, you know, it just feels nice. And then this Uniden uh, laser detector. We're going to do a little more research, see where we should price it, but... I saw them going from like three to five hundred dollars, so absolute bangers, guys. I don't think store number two is going to provide anything like this, but we'll check it out anyway. We are at our last stop for the day. Can we do a quick one at store number two? Yeah, maybe it won't be a quick one. Maybe we'll find some good stuff here, too. Okay, no updates to media, and uh, from the long view here, it looks like uh, the bags are still not looking too great, so. Maybe we'll find something hidden away, like store number one. All right, finally go camper. Yeah, a couple vehicles. <clears throat> There's another bag here too. It's like some Minecraft figures. They want the 850. We'll look closer at that one. We'll probably end up getting this one though, since we got the complete vehicles. We got a little Grogu too. <laughs> There's some more Lego here. Maybe I should check that. I think it's the stuff that was here before. Yeah, maybe not, but not seeing anything too exciting. Some marbles in there. What's this? More uh, play school, or not play school, uh, Playmobile. Bunch of figs. Eight fifty for that. Even more play school. Gosh, why do I keep saying that? Playmobile. More Playmobile. I'm trying to move slower too. I notice, like when I walk through here, I kind of just blow through. Okay, we got some new dolls. We got this one. A bunch of these LOLs. Saw a couple of them earlier too. The baby ones. That's yeah, very light. So is this one. This is a different brand, but she's complete. So we'll at least scan her. Not see much else. We got a whole bunch more Lego. Got some minifigures in there. Got a boat in this one. Bunch of other pieces. We'll just grab them all. Look through them. Most of them are probably passes, but check her out. I haven't seen anything exciting on the toy all in a few days either. They're still working on the floors here, so things aren't quite as like stuffed as they normally are. Pick this up, it may be nothing, but it's this chamber one that looks like it's some kind of like uh, intercom kind of thing. It's only five bucks for three of them, so we'll look that up earlier. I just kind of passed on them. Didn't see any branding or anything. Could be a mistake, but they want 20 bucks for the case, so. Leaving that. There's nothing in there. Saw that earlier. Don't really do tools, but occasionally I do find good stuff on the aisle. That looks like somebody bought the uh, Funko Pops that we left here earlier. Okay, it does look like these are intercom pieces. There's 
some sold. Uh, it looks like somebody got 40 for four of them. I don't have the plugs though. 20 for two, 24. This would be two pounds, five bucks. Might be able to get 30 bucks out of this. Quite a few solds, one for 20 by itself. Yeah, I think we'll go for it for five bucks. You always wonder if it's worth uh, even messing with, but there's three of them. I think we can come out ahead on this one. This is a Disney Descendants doll. And there's one up for 25 bucks. So for three, yeah, it's probably worth it. She's actually complete, or looks pretty complete, so we'll get her. It's been a few days since we got a, a doll. Probably just broke her. <laughs> It's caught my eye because it's got a nice old look. It's the Nyko Turbo Panther. Looks like... Yeah, somebody's got up for 30. They only want five for it. That's why I'm checking on it. It doesn't have the uh, remote, of course. Looks like... Yeah, there's a red one that's similar. So somebody got, for a complete, they got 120 bucks best offer. So who knows what they actually paid. And then someone sold one for 20. Hmm. Wonder if it's worth messing with. 25. Seems like the red one sells a lot more often. Maybe we'll leave it. I had a, a Tyco one that I sold not too long ago, but it took like a year or two to sell. I should start thinking about a quick, quicker movers. It's tougher in this category. You know, not everything's going to sell immediately, but. I don't need to buy everything either. I decided to leave all the Lego. I looked up to see if these uh, Lego train tracks were worth really digging into, and they're not really worth it. There's like two or three minifigs for in there, but I'm just going to get the one with the camper here. Looks like we might be missing a wheel, but these are all pretty complete. So at least we got something going on here. I you know, got a little trailer too, so. And yeah, two or three minifigs, so. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, that'll close it out. We got the uh, Lego bag with the vehicles, the Descendants doll, and those uh, Chamberlain intercoms. So, nothing insane here. Uh, just bread and butter stuff. So, we'll see you uh, later tonight when we go pick up our orders. Not a ton of sales today, but the ones that we did sell were good money. First, we'll start off with this Robin Williams DVD box set. I mentioned this when I found uh, some loose copies of some of the discs in here, but this is like the big collector's collector's edition version. It is sealed. We paid up for it a little bit. I think we might have paid thirty to forty dollars. Headed up for one twenty-five. I keep getting lowballed on it. Uh, people don't want to pay anything for it, but I got an offer for one hundred and ten dollars, and I took that. And we also have a second copy, so we'll list that as well. Uh, so good start to the day there. This sold yesterday, but the buyer just paid today. This is a Mycene Tuning In Delancey doll. This is, uh, the Delancey dolls are my favorite out of all these Mycenes. They just have the best, um, face printing, I think. Had her up for 95 and took a best offer of 85 I've had her up for last March and that's close enough for me. So we're good there. Um, she was a Target exclusive back in the day. So that's why she sells for a little bit more than some of the others. Next at home, we finally sold that My Chemical Romance Black Parade is Dead, double LP. Uh, we got $20 for that. I had a buyer buy this Luigi's Mansion that's uh, complete. This is one of the ones we picked up that we paid up a little bit for, but this one we paid the least for. I think we only paid like $30. Uh, we got $75 for that. And then last thing, uh, I got a, not a return, but an undeliverable package today. And I'm um, re-shipping out that Lancelot Shadow the Hedgehog figure. Buyer paid me shipping again on that, so we're sending that out as well. 